All right, guys. So after about two weeks, we are coming up with yet another video. I did mention that on the 1st of April, we will have some reveal coming up, but things are taking time. Moving out into a new studio and setting things up is taking longer than expected, but that's not going to stop us from making videos for you guys. And this probably is the longest duration that I've used a custom ROM on the Poco F3, also known as the Mi 11X and the Redmi K40 in China. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the latest edition of MIUI SR Beta, which I've been using for a week. And I have good things to say about it as well as a few things which can be improved. So before we get into the video, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kailash, let's get going. Now, first things first, this is a makeshift camera angle. This is not the usual perfect top down view that you guys are used to. In the next few videos, the camera angles might be a little here and there till the time we get the final touch. But let's go ahead and talk about the elephant in the house. Now, what we have here is MIUI ROM as Elliot MIUI SR version 22.3.23. This is, of course, based on Android 12 and it was updated one day before my birthday, that is on the 28th of March 2022. Now, this is a huge file, of course, because it is based on MIUI beta 3.2 gigabytes you can go ahead and flash it through dwrp there are guides that are available on our channel you can go ahead and follow them and the change log is mentioned over here now it does say new control center layout so that is absolutely right new charging animation wild angel kernel version 12 added now the good thing to note over here is while we were in the process of moving to our new studio this was used as my secondary device and i did get some time to play PUBG Mobile and yes, 90 FPS on this particular ROM is unlocked. So that is a good thing. Now let's go to the main screen and talk about things. Now initially I did mention that, you know, when uh, Mi 11X received the MIUI 13 update in India, a lot of things were missing. And I did know back then itself that a lot of features which are missing or are available in China and not available to the global or Indian users would be made available by ROMs like these, Xiaomi.eu, MIUI Hellas or MIUI SR. Now, when we talk about MIUI SR, you get MIUI applications like MIUI Dialer, MIUI Messaging, which means with MIUI Dialer, when you record a call, you will not have the call recording prompt. The camera available over here is one of the latest version of the camera APK, although it doesn't really offer a lot of new features and stuff like that, but the consistency is really, really good. Now, back in the day, a couple of weeks back, remember when you used to flash the Chinese edition or any other edition update on the Indian device, the refresh rate toggle and a few camera features and stuff like that were used to be missing. Now that has been fixed in MIUI SR and it works flawlessly and it works absolutely fine. Now if you actually go to settings and you go to the display section, you will notice that you do have 60 Hertz and 120 Hertz, but what you also have is the 90 Hertz option, which is disabled by Xiaomi by default. I really don't know why they are doing it because if a custom ROM team can easily enable it and the ROM works fluid even after enabling that nothing should be stopping xiaomi or mi from doing that anyways the 90 hertz option is available in the refresh rate section 90 hertz gaming or 90 fps gaming is available and works absolutely fine as well now moving on, let's go to the main screen and talk a little bit about the app icon animations. Now the Poco F3 or the Mi 11X is one of the very few devices on which I have seen custom ROMs like these execute MIUI animations with extreme fluidity. In fact, I would go to the extent of telling you guys that if you're still running a locked bootloader and waiting on that MIUI 13 updates, well, follow our guide, install this custom ROM and get a better experience. This is very close to what stock MIUI would be. This is with the bloatware removed and this gives you a better experience compared to stock MIUI. Now to the left of course you do have Google Feed and the new updated App Vault. The Google Feed is what I'm using over here and the experience over here is pretty pretty cohesive. This is very close to stock Android 12 ROMs when it comes to the smooth scrolling experience and that is something that I really really like about these particular ROMs. Now apart from this if you pinch over here you will see that you have the new MIUI 13 menu for themes. You do have the new 
live wallpapers, the molten glass and the super live wallpapers and stuff like that. You do have the MIUI 12.5-ish, you know, widgets over here. That has to be a way to go ahead and enable them. Now, moving on, if you actually go to the launcher settings, you will see that this is the latest launcher, which does come with almost all the MIUI 13 features and that works absolutely fine. So, you know, all the goodies of MIUI 13 are present and the ROM is working absolutely okay. Now, even if you look at the control center, it is the new MIUI 13's updated control center, which works absolutely fine. Now, once again, moving on to settings, as you can see over here, this looks like the Chinese version because it is based on that. You do have the MIUI SR by Zero Light is what the team or the developer's name is. This is the device specifications that you have. And apart from this, if you go to all specifications, you will see it comes with the latest March security update. And it, of course, comes with the HyperX kernel, which is mentioned in the changelog as well. Now, another thing to note over here is it does tell you that it has 6 plus 2 gigabytes of RAM. That means MIUI RAM extension is in action and it is working, although it still feels like a gimmick to me. Now, moving on, if you talk about other features like wallpaper and personalization, again, you have typical MIUI 12.5 to MIUI 13 stuff available over here, and that works absolutely fine. You do have a few changes here and there, like you have different charge animations. They work absolutely fine. Always on displays present, notification effects, all these options are available and they work absolutely okay as well. Now, if you go to sound and touch, you do have the same old UI, but with a few more additional features which are not available in the global version of the ROM. Now, moving on, you have password and security with Android 12 making a cameo. We now have face unlock with Android 12 and MIUI 13, which is a good thing. Fingerprint unlock works absolutely okay. Face unlock works absolutely fine. You do have the privacy protection password and all these features available and working okay as well. Now, good thing here is when you go to the battery section, you do have the performance and save battery toggle, which you can enable while gaming and doing stuff like that. And you will probably get a better experience. Now, as you can see, when we talk about the battery backup, this phone has been fairly idle for a lot of time, but most of the time I have been getting around six to seven hours of screen on time. In heavy gaming, we've been getting around two, two and a half to three hours from 100% about 20 to 30 percent of battery so gaming is pretty good the battery backup is pretty decent 33 watt charging works absolutely fine now moving on if you go to special features you will see that you have the new miui 13 sidebar which is a combination of your video toolbox and the game turbo now when we talk about the game turbo let's actually go to the security application and let's launch the game turbo over here let's see Yes, so you do get the new game turbo over here with these options enabled at the bottom. You can change a lot of settings to the GPU and other things like that. I have gone ahead and made a dedicated review about the new game turbo. You can definitely go ahead and watch that video. Now moving on, let's actually go to settings once again. And if you go to additional settings, you will see that you have memory extension over here. You have clear speaker and you do have the new Android 12 esque one-handed mode which works like a charm earlier it was a hit and miss but now as you can see that android 12 one-handed mode is working absolutely fine now not only that in certain google applications you will see that monet ui has started working as well i really don't know when xiaomi intends or plans to incorporate this on you know all the miui system applications Probably by the time Android 13 comes, they will go ahead and incorporate it because in the global version, most of the time they are late, right? Now, all these things said and done, you would ask me, what is so special about MIUI SR? Well, I'll tell you this, all the missing features of MIUI 13 from the global stock ROM have been taken care of and it feels like a complete operating system now. It is much more fluid. It has very few bugs compared to say the stock MIUI, which still has a few jitters, few stutters. It does have additional options like the MIUI 13 control center. You do have 90 FPS gaming unlock, but what about the performance you ask? So let's go ahead and talk about numbers for a while. Now, if you look at the N2 benchmark numbers over here, let's see what we have. We have 667,026, which is very close to what you get on stock. Moving on, if we actually talk about the Geekbench numbers over here, let's see. So history, 961 single core, 3230 multi core. Again, pretty decent and stockish score there. Now let's talk about the CPU throttling test over here. Now, as you can see, the max score was 238, 290 GIPS, and the average was 232. 
571 but the cpu throttled to 95 percent of its max performance now remember these tests were done with game turbo enabled at the same time performance toggle enabled so all in all if you ask me miui sr even in the beta version is doing a great job you can definitely use it as a daily driver wideband l1 is taken care of safety net passes by default so you can you know consume your content you can go ahead and use your banking applications it's a universal rom I think you should flash it and give it a try and don't be disappointed from tomorrow you will have regular uploads on the poco x3 pro the k20 pro and the mi 11x until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye